So the some of the garden beds have been prepared. So that's the passive water thingy there, so it's going to let water in from the road. The cigarette butts, they're going to do the plants really good, the cigarette butts. Yes. Victorians love smoking. Well, we've already got quite a few cigarette butts. Just shows you the level of scum that exists on the planet now. Just don't give a shit about anything except themselves. But the biggest change while I've been away is further down the road here. So we'll go and have a look. I'm sure they're going to put lots of lovely plants in these things, but really all they've done is reduce the amount of parking. I don't know why it's kicked like that. I mean, <laughs> that makes it idiots are going to run into this all the time now. So it looks like none of this concrete's going to be replaced. Because you'd think they'd just continue in a line if they were, if that's what they were going to do. But the guy at Rio Bravo here, he said that they were going to be putting in the fancy concrete down here. Got another garden bed island there. Putting in new storm drainage by the looks of it. Be interesting to see what they do with this old pattern pave. I would think that that is going to be replaced. Ooh. XAGT. Nice. Sorry about that. XA is my favourite car. So, not sure what's going on here, how far the, the fancy concrete will go. I'm sure some of the business owners will be a bit disappointed that some get the fancy concrete and others don't. So according to the guy in Rio Bravo, 
they're not doing across the road there this is as far as they go and I'm pretty sure he said that they were doing the whole way from here all the way up to the fancy concrete on the corner up there so we'll just have to wait and see what happens but that's where they're at now and it was um, just a fluke that I happened to go into the library and see the plans there but that was good see what they're going to put trees in and that but it'd be interesting to see that they do um, they put plants in and that in in the center of Ballarat and they just get ripped out by the by the dead shits you know, Ballarat has a high percentage of dead shits You'd think they would replace some of this concrete. It's pretty bloody ordinary. You know, especially when you got nice nice there. Gonna have nice down there. And crap in the middle. But I might be talking too soon. I might might get changed. I mean there are. There are these paint marks, so that would indicate something going on. And thankfully, we lost. There were two post boxes here because this used to be the post office, the Sebastopol post office. So there was a an express box and a regular box, and I thought they'd just asshole both but they put the regular one around the corner here so at least haven't completely lost the ability to send mail off without having to go on a much longer journey because Redan and Delacombe are the... Well, anything that used to come here now goes to Delacombe. Doesn't go to Redan. Redan just does. Redan. Redan's up the road. That way. I would have thought they'd, they would change this bit of concrete i mean that's got the the paint instructions too but you never know maybe it's going to be done maybe it's just a little more complicated than the other bits knock off the easy bits first and do the hard bits later we'll find out I'll be back. That's unless someone successfully kills me. Then I won't be back. But I won't give a shit. <laughs>